So, you want to start moto vlogging, but you don't know how to start. That's okay. That's why I'm here. Today, I will be showing you all how to set up and mount a GoPro on your helmet to start your riding and recording adventures. But please be warned, you'll get a lot of hate from local riding groups saying you should get a real job and that you're a self-righteous asshole. Hey guys, so now I'm riding through this neighborhood and I'm getting paid to do it. I'm so awesome. Get a real job. What the hell? Don't listen to them. They're just jealous. For the sake of this video, the action camera I will be using will be the GoPro Hero 4. And I'll tell you why a little later in this video why I still use it and why I don't plan to upgrade or try any other action cameras. So let's start off with the different mounting positions. You got number one, the chin, number two, the sides, and number three, top of the head. Number one, in my honest opinion, will offer the best angle, field of view, and least wind resistance when you want to show the world how tough you really are. What'd you say to me? I just kidding. It was a joke. It was a joke. That's right, bitch. Number two is an angle some moto vloggers choose to use, and it's not the worst if you don't care about seeing a part of your helmet for 100% of your recordings. It has a slight drag in your helmet when it comes to wind, but it's universal, which means it'll work with all helmets. Number three is just silly, and makes you look like you're one of those aliens from Toy Story. You have saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. Yeah, 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 whatever. So, let's say you took my advice, and you went with number one, the chin position. One thing you need to consider is the type of helmet you have. Some helmets don't have any space on the chin for mounts. It's like we weren't meant to put a camera on our helmets or something. So choosing a helmet with lots of space is the key to making this angle work. Right here is a great example of where the mounting might be a little more complicated if you want to mount on the chin. And well, it's because there's no space to put a mount on the chin. I won't get into the logistics about that because Motonocity has already put out a good video on how to get around that, so you can watch that if you want. But let's say you buy or have a helmet that has a lot of open surface area on the chin like my Shui RF 1200 here. Lots of space, easy to mount, kinda blocks the chin vent, but I've left enough room to allow it to open up if need be. You have two kinds of standard mounts, a curved mount like this and a flat mount like this. In most cases, you're most likely going to be using the curved mount. Sometimes, the curve won't follow the curve of the helmet exactly, so you may need to add some extra double-sided tape like I did here to create the most contact. Just make sure you do it right or else that GoPro is going to go flying once you make a shoulder check at a high enough speed. My AGV helmet is not flat on the chin, nor does it have a curve. It's more of a triangular shape, so this was the only possible solution I found. Sugru. It's a moldable silicone that you can attach to a mount, in my case I put it on the curved mount, and just molded it to hug the triangle shape of my helmet's chin. Just to add a little more detail, I used three packs of these and you have to let it set for 24 hours before you can use the helmet. Whew. Now that mounting your helmet has been established, let's talk about the camera, mounting brackets, and accessories. So here are the parts. GoPro Hero 4, black housing, J-hook mount, short arm extender, microphone adapter, microphone, and a 64 gigabyte micro SD card. I would recommend a 128 if you could, but 64 is pretty good. And by the way, if you're planning to use a housing for your GoPro, then you will need to dremel out a hole right here on the side, just so the port opens up so you can plug in a microphone adapter. I guess that's the only downside of using a housing. And here's why I still choose the Hero 4 over the new ones, the microphone adapter variants. By this time, if you look on eBay or Amazon, there's tons of options you can use for mic adapters, and they're all pretty low profile. You have straight ones like this, which I used to use, but then I found this one right here that's a lot more simple and even has a right angle to keep the wire from poking out. The Hero 5 and up seem to only have the support of this chunky one right here. Don't be fooled if you see skinny ones on eBay or Amazon though. There's no guarantee that they'll work. There's special connectors in these wires that allow sound to be picked up once the microphone is plugged. Now that we have the adapter out of the way, let's talk about the microphone I use. This is the Sony ECM CS3 Omnidirectional Stereo Microphone. My personal favorite from all the mics that I've tried. You don't have to use it, but it's just something I'd recommend. First step is to position the mic where you want it to be. Keep the mic down by using double-sided tape or some kind of electrical tape. Then run the excess wire through the helmet, tuck it behind the cheek pad, and then have the 3.5mm end stick out with only the slack that you need. Now that you've done that, let's put this all together. J-hook first, then a short arm extender, GoPro housing, GoPro, mic adapter, mic. Find an angle that works for you. Just consider that when you're riding, your helmet sort of sits like this, so you want the GoPro to angle up just a little bit. Then again, it's all preference too. And that's it! Now you're ready to hit the streets and start recording. 
Just remember to edit your videos in a way to make your life look more interesting than it actually is. Thanks for watching.